So when the network designers thought that instead of having 8 bit of host ID and 24 bit of network ID because if you do it that way then we don't have enough flexibility. So it is better if we can have some kind of flexibility while designing the network because so it is not necessary that we are only going to have 256 network we can have lot more net, uh, networks as compared to 256 we are going to have so many networks in the world right so the designers thought that instead of having a, a, a network id of 8 bit we can have a variable length of network id some kind some variable length then that variable length is according to the needs of uh, of the human according to our needs if you can divide the number of networks in such a way that uh, we can satisfy the need of every individual then that will be better so they thought that instead of going for uh, creating the network id that way it will be better if we can create a classful ip address -y. classful means we are going to divide all these IP addresses into classes like we have class A, class B, class C, class D and class E. So we have all these classes which are class A, class B, class C, class D and we have class E IP addresses. We have class E IP addresses. Right. And the total bits which we are going to use in IPv4 for IP addresses is 32 bits. We have a total of 32 bits. In case of class A IP addresses, we have 8 bits which are used for network ID and we have 24 bits which are used for host ID. In case of class B, we use 16 bits for network ID and we use 16 bits for representing host ID. For class C, we use 24 bits in network ID and we use 8 bits for host ID. And in class D and E, there is no, uh, you know, there is no separation between the network ID and the host ID. So let us see how we implemented this class A, class B, class C and class D. The first one is the class A IP addresses. In case of class A IP addresses, we have a total of 32 bits of an IP address. If we have a total of 32 bits, then how many combinations are possible? There are 2 raised to power 32 combinations are possible in binary that you already know. So let me repeat that again. If you have 1 bit like then you can take two values which are 0 and 1 with 1 bit there are two combinations are possible if you have two bits then there are four combinations are possible which are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 there are four combinations which are possible if you have three bits then there are eight combinations which are possible 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 we have total 8 combinations which are possible which is equal to 2 raised to power 1 these are 2 raised to power 2 these are 2 raised to power 3 in the same way with n bits there are 2 raised to power n combinations which are possible here the minimum value is 0 maximum value is 2 raised to power 1 minus 1 minimum value is 0 maximum value is 2 raised to power 2 minus 1 minimum value is 0 maximum value is 2 raised to power 3 minus 1 2 is about 3 minus 1 that is the that's equivalent decimal value of these binary combinations now if we discuss these IP addresses we have 32 bits to represent an IP address then with these 32 bits 2 is power 32 combinations are possible 2 is power 32 combinations are possible so when we discuss about the class A IP address if we have a class A IP address if we have a class A IP address then in case of class A IP bits, all th in, in all these 32 bits, we are going to use the first bit as 0, then it will be a class A IP address. We are going to fix the first bit as 0. That means if you have all the IP addresses, if you have all the IP addresses, the first IP address will become 0, 0, 0, 0, up to so on, 32 zeros, 
right next will be 0 0 0 0 up to so on 0 1 next will be 0 0 0 0 up to so on 1 0 and so on that is 0 1 1 1 1 up to so on total once and so on again 1 0 0 0 so on till 1 1 1 1 now if you are going to use this first bit as 0 if you are going to use this first bit as 0 then this IP address will be called as class A IP address this will be called as class A IP address that means out of the complete 32 bits if we fix the first bit at 0 then this will become a class A IP address and rest all the bits which are remaining are 31 bits because 31 bits can take any values 31 bits can take any values then total how many combinations such combinations are possible these are 2 raised to power 31 such combinations are possible therefore there are 2 raised to power 31 IP addresses which does exist in class A and the rest where the first bit is 1 and the rest where the first bit is 1 so here again we have 2 raised to power 31 combinations here again we have 2 raised to power 31 combinations and in all these combinations we are again going to divide this into multiple classes in different classes for example if you take these bits if you take these these combinations that is where the first bit, bit is 1 and the rest are there if you take these combinations in these combinations if you fix the first second bit as 0 if you fix the second bit as 0 so it will become a class B IP address so we fix the second bit as 0 that means the first bit is 1 we already know the first bit is 1 if you fix the second bit as 0 and all other bits can take any combination then this will become a class B IP address class B IP address and here if the second bit is 1 others bit can take any combination then we are going to further divide it so in case of class B IP address the first bit is 1 second bit is 0 and all the other bits can take any combination in case of other classes again we are going to divide this one further so if, if the first two bits are already fixed then there are only 30 bits which are remaining and with these 30 bits you can make 2 raised to power 30 combinations with these 30 bits you can make 2 raised to power 30 combinations 2 raised to power 30 combinations now the remaining bits which are here with these remaining bits these are again 2 raised to power 30 combinations are possible we are again going to divide these bits in two categories that is the class D and class class C and class D so if the first two bits are fixed as 1 if the first two bits are fixed as 1 if you make the third bit as 0 if you make the third bit as 0 that means you fix total 3 bits then this will become a class C IP address this will become a class C IP address so you can say in case of class C IP address we have the remaining total 29 bits are there so with the help of these 29 bits there are 2 raised to power 29 combinations are possible there are 2 raised to power 29 combinations are possible and the rest all these bits which are remaining these are again 2 to the power 29 combinations are possible all these which are remaining we are further going to divide this into class D and class E so you can say if you open this one if you open this one like this so if you fix the first 3 bits as 1 the first 3 bits as 1 like this if the 4th bit is 0 then this is the class D IP address if the fourth bit is 1 then this is the class E IP address then this is the class E IP address so in, in, in all these IP addresses IP addresses let me revise it again if we have a class A IP address if you have a class A IP address these are total 32 bits these are total 32 bits if the first bit is 0 if the first bit is 0 all the other bits can take any combination then this is a class A IP address 
in case of class b ip address if the first bit is 1 and second bit is 0 then it is called as a class b ip address and all other bits can take any combination right so the, here there are 31 bits remaining and here there are 30 bits remaining which can take any combination when we say discuss about class c ip address then in case of class c ip address total 3 bits are uh, total 3 bits are fixed that is 1 1 0 and all the other 29 bits can take any combination all the other 29 bits can take any combination if you discuss about the class d ip address in case of class d ip address we fix the four bits that is 1 1 1 0 the four bits are fixed all the other 28 bits can take any combinations all the other 28 bits can take any combination and when we discuss about the class e ip address when we discuss about the class e ip address then the first four bits are one all the other bits can take any combination then this is how we uh, we've divided the classes now all these ip addresses are actually represented in a dotted decimal representation dotted decimal representation then now what do you mean by dotted decimal representation is if you give a number with, with 32 bits then that number will be very huge that number will be very huge and it will be kind of impossible for us to remember those numbers just just imagine this thing it is so difficult for us some of us to remember the four numbers because four numbers are only of nine uh, nine or ten uh, digits but if you got 32 bits then with these 32 bits such a big number is possible such a big number is possible then it will be very difficult to remember that big number so we generally represent these 32 bits in a octal format 8 bits that is dotted decimal representation not octal format that, that, that i mean to say the dotted decimal representation like this for example if you have 32 bits then we can make any combination of those 32 bits for example the combination is 1111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111111
in case of class D, four bits are fixed, which are one, 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 zero. In case of class E, this is A, B, C, D. In case of class E, four bits are fixed, which are one, 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 one. This is class E. So if you fix this, that is the most significant bit. If you have 32 bits, we are going to fix the most significant bit. So if you already fix the most significant bit, that is MSB, and this is how the MSBs are fixed in case of class A, class B, class C, and class D, then you can represent them in classful addressing format. So again, let me revise it again. In case of class A, there are total 30, one bit is fixed, so 31 bits are remaining. With 31 bits, there are two to the power one, two to the power 31 combinations are possible. That is, we are going to have two to the power 31 IP addresses. In case of class B, two bits are fixed. Therefore, we are going to have 30 bits which are remaining. With 30 bits, we are going to have two to the power 30 IP addresses, or you can say two to the power 30 combinations. In case of class C, three bits are fixed. So again. 29 bits are remaining. With the, those 29 bits, you can make 2 to the power 29 combinations. So that means 2 to the power 29 IP addresses are possible. In case of class B, 4 bits, class D, 4 bits are remaining. With 4 bits, you can make, uh, sorry, in case of class D, uh, 4 bits are fixed, uh, 28 bits are remaining. With 28 bits, you can make 2 to the power 28 IP addresses. In case of class E, 4 bits are weak, fixed. 28 bits are remaining, so you can make 2 to the power 28 IP addresses. That is what is remaining. Okay, now for now, let us move on to the uh, next video for this, that is classful IP addressing. This is just the basics of this. Let us dig deep and find more information about it.